Hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope Christ is with you like he is with me. Um, LG. All right. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a really fun video for you here. I've been uh, wanting to do this. I checked out a few videos that have approached this similar um, task, which is like figuring out the derivative of x factorial. And I thought, you know, I research a little bit and kind of offer you a different uh, approach. So the question is, given the y's x factorial, what is the derivative dy dx, right? So it turns out that uh, a good approximation of x factorial is this here. Yes, um, we could involve the gamma function and I've showed you how factorials are related to gamma function in a different video, an earlier video I've made, but uh, this is a good approach to uh, finding a simpler solution to the derivative of x factorial. So it turns out that x factorial is this. Now since what we're going to do is implicit differentiation, let's call x factorial y and this is just mere rewriting. Okay, now as I just said, we're going to do uh, implicit differentiation, but before it, uh, you know, we want to think of it as logarithmic differentiation. Sometimes it's called logarithmic differentiation because, well, we take the natural log uh, for functions that are um, variable to a variable power before we apply implicit differentiation, right? So uh, now, I've, after I've taken the natural log of both sides of this equation, this is what we'd get, right? But then uh, the reason why we'd want to do this is other than implicit differentiation, we could apply log rules which simplify things tremendously, right? So the first log rule that I've applied is the product log rule. So the product is between this quantity and this quantity inside of the log and so that the product turns into a sum, right? I have videos on that including proofs, so check them out. Now, uh, we could further expand this using more log rules, uh, namely the exponent log rule uh, here and here, right? So if we do that, then uh, we're going to be able to uh, rewrite this right-hand side and this manner. Now we have it nice and easy. So we could start applying the implicit differentiation. On the left side, the derivative of the natural log of y is 1 over y times dy dx, and this is via implicit differentiation. I have many videos on implicit differentiation, so feel free to check them out. Uh, the derivatives on the right side, well, this is pretty simple. This is just a constant. This is 1 over 2 pi x, and we multiply by dx over dx, but that's 1, so we don't bother. And here we have to be a bit cautious because, well, we've got a product between x and the natural log of x over e. Uh, so this is really 1 over e times x inside of the log, right? So it's pretty straightforward there. So applying the product rule for derivatives, uh, the derivative of x is 1, and then we keep and then plus, right, and then x times the derivative of ln of x over e, that's just 1 over x over e, right? Okay, uh, now, if we clean this up a little bit, this is what we're going to write. So here, the 2 and 2 pi x just get us that, right? And uh, then, you know, we don't need the 1 there, obviously. And here, uh, in this part, in this tail end, we could simplify. The x's cross out. 1 over x over e is really e over x, right? And then the x's cross out. And so what we really have is... Uh, just e in that part, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're almost done then, y'all. Um, so we clean up, which is make space, and uh, yeah, so dy dx, if we isolate it, uh, would just mean we multiply both sides of this uh, uh, equation in the bottom by y, right? And so dy dx isolated y prime, which is to say the uh, derivative of, of x factorial, is going to turn into um, this plus this plus e, all of this multiplied by y. Remember, we're multiplying both sides of this by y. But wait, y is right there, right? And so, if we just copy and paste y right there, we are done. I'm sure that there's a bit more simplifying that we could do. We could rewrite e in terms of uh, log and, um, you know, involve log and rewriting e and uh, clean uh, this answer up a little bit. But I'm going to leave it like this. And yeah, like, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.